Hi, I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this news every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, Google has made its AI-powered job interview prep tool available to all internet users. The interview warm-up tool uses AI to analyze people's responses to interview questions and offer observations and suggestions. Users who visit the site are asked to choose a career and then answer five randomly selected questions. They can either type or use their voice. Google's AI technology then transcribes those answers in real time to show speech patterns. It also delivers insights via machine learning detected patterns, such as what job terminology was used and what words were said most often. Google noted that it doesn't grade your answer or tell you what part of your answer is right or wrong. News source, Engadget, the Whoop 4.0 and the Aura Ring Generation 3 couldn't be more different in terms of form factor but are near identical in terms of their focus. Both devices claim to help wearers understand the relationship between sleep, activity and recovery. They also act as health monitors, to keep tabs on core heart and breathing vitals. Both Aura and Whoop pay close attention to your sleep, daily activity exercise or simply going for a walk and how rested and ready you are to do it all again the next day. Aura is worn on the finger, it uses optical-based green, red and infrared light sensors can generate a host of different biometric data. The key ones here are heart rate, blood oxygen, heart rate variability to measure stress, respiratory rate and body temperature. Whoop similarly relies on an optical sensors to track data and deliver insights too but with no screen in place. You're relying on the companion Whoop app iOS and Android to keep track of progress and make sense of your data. News source, wearable, Microsoft reinvents the mouse for people with disabilities. A new wireless button design will let anyone make Microsoft's hardware their own. Gabby Michelle, director of accessible accessories at Microsoft, demonstrates how this tiny mouse has been designed to slide perfectly into its tail a large ergonomic grip that your hand can grasp almost like a ball, switching from left to right-handed configurations with a simple squeeze. The project is landmark in that it's the first assistive hardware that Microsoft has designed for the core PC user, but it's hardly Microsoft's first foray into building assistive devices. News Source, Fast Company when the Simpsons creative team decided to use American Sign Language there was one hitch, the show's animated characters have only four fingers. The story centers on Lisa Simpson, who discovers that her favorite musician and mentor, the late saxophonist Bleeding Gums Murphy, had a son who was born deaf. She meets the young man, Monk, who wants to get a cochlear implant but Lisa gets a little too over-exuberant in trying to help him. The Simpsons hired a deaf actor to play the role. It's about hard of hearing and hearing characters coming together. As more disability topics enter the mainstream media, the wearable tech behind hearing stands the chance to become a fashion item, being pimped up like headphones and cell phones have been in their evolution. News source, Variety, Afghanistan is teaching young women despite a Taliban ban on female education. Small clandestine schools that teach Afghan girls and women emerged in the country after the Taliban government in March scrapped plans to allow girls' schools to reopen. Girls can receive primary education but the Taliban said it will only allow schools for older girls to reopen once the appropriate Islamic environment is established. When the Taliban were previously in power in the 1990s, they banned all girls from receiving an education due to security concerns. News source. BBC, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360 Fashion. Net podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode. Get to subscribe.